I'm not. Yes, I'm, I'm oh, recording. Right. right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this lottery funded event, the sounding off event. Uh, if anybody, by the way, has got your phones on, yeah? If you put them to stun, that would be cool. Welcome to the Coventry Music Museum and welcome to our Artist of the Month, Emma McGann! <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Should be fun. Yeah. Nothing too taxing. Uh, yeah, because it's a Saturday yeah, yeah. morning for me, so... That's cool. Well, we always start with the same question, and it's kind of a broad question, is how did you get into music in the first place? Oh, okay. Um, well, I was about 13 or 14 at the time, and um, my auntie, Mary, brought a big old acoustic guitar back from church one day, and I decided to teach myself guitar. Um, I was inspired by a lot of music that my mum used to listen to. She used to bring home CDs, um, mostly country music, uh, which I was fine with. Um, and that's pretty much how I got into starting to play music myself. Right, well, you just answered two questions here. Early yeah. influences, <laughs> and why the guitar? But I mean, <laughs> any particular influences you're talking about country music, anything to stop me here? Um, country music wise, um, I do like a bit of Dolly Parton. Yeah. I'm a bit partial to a bit of Dolly. Um, Did you go beyond that, like, sort of, I mean, what strikes me is the seminal moments like Hank Williams and Hank Snow. Did you ever. Jimmy Rogers, do you ever get into No, not any of that. It was more yeah. the kind of contemporary country yeah. artists. So people like Miranda Lambert um, and just people like that, people that were kind of almost uh, young female females like myself, but just getting into country music. Mm. Um, and you'll, you'd see uh, people like Taylor Swift emerging from that yeah, kind of course, scene into yeah. the more pop commercial side. Um, but yeah, country music was a big factor. Did you? actually want to play country music now, or is it? I think I'm getting the feeling yeah, that you probably didn't. And I didn't at the moment because my southern drawl isn't, uh, no, no, no. isn't too great, so no, I was more interested in um, writing a lot of singer songwriter type stuff. I did used to listen to a lot of Alanis Morissette and Suzanne Vega and lots of female singer songwriters like that. Um, so I kind of found myself more writing around that kind of style, um, more so than country. So, writing, when did that begin? Um, and how did it begin? <laughs> Probably when I was about, like, I'd say 13, 14. Can't imagine my writing was very good at all when I was about eight. Um, but it kind of stemmed from listening to the singer songwriter types. And um, I used to, I remember when I was younger, I used to kind of analyse how they'd structure a song. Um, so I'd listen to 10 songs and then go through and see how, how they actually structured their songs, whether they had two verses and then a chorus and then followed by a bridge. Or, and then I kind of figured out it was common form for that and I'd start writing around that form and then I'd try something different. Um, so with lyrics, I've always written lyrics, but I kind of got into the analysis of like right songwriting um, at a very early stage as well. So. It sounds like you've always been that into the analytical side of the yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because I mean, we're looking at your career as it goes on, and it's kind of like very much like that that you've you've gone into this in a big way and looked at it, and uh, not it's it's not sort of something that's just sort of passed along. You, you're very much into what you do, and you yeah. sort of go into everything in a big way. Definitely, I, I like to. And find look at all, all the ins and outs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it started right early. You've been like that forever, then, really. Pretty much, yeah. And we're talking about early songs, did you remember the first song you wrote? Yes, um, it was And you're going to do it for us now? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, because it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's rubbish. Um, it was called The Summer Song, and it was about 40 seconds long, and it was terrible. It was really bad. But it, it started really bad. everything. But it started everything. And the urge to actually want to write. Yes. So, um, I guess it's significant in that sense. Yeah. It kind of kick-started everything out. So. I will say, if you want to, uh, we probably will be punctuating the talk with a song. Yeah, yeah. We'll so, whenever you want to uh, yeah, do a song. Uh, yeah. Well, I've got a song here, so do you okay, want to go? Yeah. Start off and do a song, and let's see, yeah, why not? What do you want to hear? Summer song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah. 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 That's not fair, come on. <laughs> There's no, it's, it's something left on here, isn't there? You can hear something. Yeah, it's this one here. Gives us a chance. Can you, do you want to stop that? I mean. <laughs> 